The government has set aside 2 billion shillings to address the drought situation in the country. This comes as the National Drought Management Authority released data indicating that the current drought situation could worsen between August and December and hence the need for action. Devolution Cabinet Secretary Eugene Wamalwa says the cash will support water intervention and enhance access to food in 12 counties. Rose has those details. Over 2 million Kenyans are facing starvation due to a drought that is currently ravaging 12 arid and semi-arid counties. The worst affected counties are Trukana, Garissa, Wajir and Marsabit. These counties have had no significant harvest and most water points such as boreholes, wells and water pans have dried up. We are talking of floods, we are talking of drought, locust invasion and here we are again dealing with the COVID-19 situation. I can tell you that Kenya is indeed a very resilient country, but never has our resilience been tested to the extent that we've, we, we've been tested this time around. The Volition Cabinet Secretary Eugene Omalwa said the government has set aside 2 billion shillings to address the drought situation in the country. The Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, has committed 400 million shillings and the European Union 500 million shillings towards assisting the vulnerable families through the provision of water. We'll have a percentage going to resilience and a percentage going to a response to ensure that we build resilience of these counties. A multi-agency team involving UN agencies has been set up to tackle the situation both at the national and county levels. We are looking at uh, issues of water scarcity, of water, health, education. You know, it cuts across the sectors and all the line ministries have been uh, mobilized to be part of this uh, multi-agency team. Food distribution is going on in some areas. However, these efforts need to be stepped up to reduce the suffering of the affected communities, especially women, girls, and children under five. Urgent action is really required to reduce the food consumption gaps, malnutrition rates. We need to save lives and protect livelihoods. We must hope for the best, but much more urgently, we must act now to prevent and mitigate the worst. The performance of the October, November, December 2021 rainfall will be a key determinant on whether the affected counties will experience an improvement or a worsening drought and food insecurity situation. Rosongoi, NTV. NTV tonight takes a break. I'll be back on the other side.